three different medical uses for what I consider to be the most important part and versatile part of your kit, the shamag. First things first, a tourniquet. With a tourniquet, you wanna start by holding your shamag diagonally like so. Fold your shamag in half until you have a minimum of a two inch wide strip. Place your shamag around the highest point of your injured limb. Make a simple overhand knot and cinch it down as good as you can. Make an improvised windlass out of a stick. Make sure that it's nice and strong. Place your windlass dead center of your overhand knot and make another overhand knot over that. Begin twisting the windlass until the bright red bleeding stops. From here, it wants to turn back on itself. Don't let it by simply wrapping around the windlass, coming around the bottom and tying your shamag on the other side. This will keep it cinched down and allow for you to continue moving. 